Hello everyone, in this video I'm going to talk about factor, factor theorem and the reminder theorem. So let's do some reminder about review. Let's do some review about long division. Do you remember how to do long division? If I have 97 and divided by 3, what would you do? Well, the first thing is I need to find, hey, what multiplied together will get to 9. You will have 3. And then I will get 9 times 3, you multiply these two numbers together. And then I have 9 times 3 times 3 got 9. And then there's nothing remind, it's just 0. So, and then I drop down to 7. And then I need to think about hey, what number multiply 3 get close to 7? Well, it would be 2, right? So it would be 7 times, I mean, 2 times 3 equals to 6. And then I use 7 minus 6. So that I got the answer equal to 13, 2, and the reminder is 1. Okay, so if I have something that without reminder, such as 69 divided by 3, I have 2 in here, 2 times 3, I would get 6, and then 9 times 9, and then we need to think about what number multiply 3 get you 9 would be. 9, so 9 times 9 is equal to 0. That means um, 69 is divisible by 3. Okay, so we apply this to a polynomial. If I have a polynomial, 6x cubed plus 4x squared minus 5x minus 14, and then I want this divided by x minus 2. So the idea is the same. So we set up a long division which is 5x minus 14 divided by x minus 2. Remember, we want the number we're looking for is when they multiply. So we uh, have a divisor, right? So we want the, remind, the portion that we're looking for is getting very close to our dividend here. So since the highest degree is s to the cube, so I need to think about x multiply what will give you s to the cube, will be s squared, right? So similar to law division that we have with numbers, you want s squared times a divisor, so that will give you what? x squared times x is x cubed minus 2x squared, and then you use dividend to subtract. So I have x squared minus x squared gives you 0. 4x squared minus negative 2x squared will give you x, 6x squared. And then minus 5x. And now the second quotient is, I need to think about, hey, what number multiply x will give you 6x squared? So that means I need to multiply a positive 6x so that I will have 6x squared minus 12x and then again you use that to subtract i have 6x squared minus 6x squared zero negative 5x subtract negative 12x equivalent to negative 5x plus negative plus positive 12x which is 7x minus 14. i need to write this down like what we did all right so the next is going to be, so think about, we have a 7x and the, the divisor is 7, is x. So that means I need to multiply a 7, a positive 7. So I have 7x and then 7 times negative 2 is negative 14. So when you subtract this, it gives you 0. 0 means this is this polynomial is divisible by x minus 2 and is equal to x squared plus 6x. So I can write it in this way. x cubed plus 4x squared minus 5x minus 14 equals to, or divided by, or, okay, two ways to write this. Let's use the way that, divided by x minus 2 is equal to x squared plus 6x plus 7. Or we can write it in this way, s cubed plus 4x squared minus 5x minus 14 is equal to x minus 2 times x squared plus 6x plus 7. Because if you think about that, 
69 divided by 3 equals to 23, right? So that means 69 is equal to 3 times 23. So that means the division is equal to the divisor times the reminder. Okay, so now let's do one that with... Okay, so what can I use this for? Well, that will help you to factor a polynomial to help you find zero. For example, I want you to find the horizontal intercept of this polynomial. Well, your first step is you want to factor this out into two polynomial, and then this is equal to zero, so that I have, hey, one parenthesis equals to zero, and then also x squared plus 6x plus 7 also equals to 0. And then from your homework, I've seen this a lot. If you can use AC method to factor this one out, remember this is x squared. It's a quadratic function. That means I can use a quadratic formula to solve it, which is x equals to negative 6 positive or minus 6 squared minus 4 times a times c divided by 2 times a, which is equal to negative 3 plus or minus square root of 2. So that means there will be a 3x horizontal intercept, which is when x equals to 2, x equals to negative 3 plus square root of 2, and x equals to negative 3 minus square root of 2. Okay, so what is fact, uh, reminder's theorem? So here, reminder theorem states that if a polynomial P of X of a degree one or greater and the C is a real number then when the polynomial p of x divided by x minus c the remainder is p of c so another theorem is factor theorem so the factor theorem states that if the polynomial p of x is a non-zero polynomial then the real number c is a zero of the polynomial if only if x minus c is a factor of p of x. So now let's take a look what is a factor of p of x, which is what we have in here earlier. If you can write the polynomial into this form, right? So x minus 2 which is x equals to 2, is a root of the polynomial because we can write it into a factor, which means you can write it as x minus 2 times another parenthesis. All right. So another way to do this is use a synthetic method to do it. So let's use the same polynomial, which is x... x cubed plus 4x squared minus 5x minus 14. So synthetic division is you write down the coefficient of each term first. So for the first term, the coefficient is 1, and then 4, negative 5, negative 14. That's the coefficient and the constant term. And then since we are trying to use it divided by 
x minus 2. So that means your root is positive 2. So I want you to write down the roots in here, positive 2. So the first thing is you just drop down 1 in here. The second thing is you use 2 times 1, which is equal to 2. And then after you multiply, you write it here. So this gives you a 2. And then you use 4 add 2. And then here will be a 6. And then you use 2 multiply 6, which is 12. And you write it here, 12. And then I have a negative 5 at 12, which gives you a 7. Let me use a different color pen. This is add together, gives you 7. And then you use 2 times 7 gives you a positive 14 and then negative 14 at positive 14 it gives you zero that means this is done so that means when you write the function it's going to be remember this part is come from x minus 2 so after your function originally has degree of 3 you divide it by a degree of one polynomial so that means you still have two degree left so that means the degree in here is x squared x and x to the zero which is a constant term so that means the function you can write it as what x squared plus 6x plus 7 because that's constant which is the same as we use a long division to calculate the function okay so I'm going to give you an example that when you have a reminder, because right now everything is factor, is divisible, which means the reminder is equal to zero. So what if I have an example like this? I'm going to use a long division and a synthetic division to show how to do the one that with a reminder. So I have 5s cubed minus 2x squared plus 1, and I wanted this to be is divided by s minus 3. Okay, long division. So long division, I have 5s cubed minus 2x squared plus 1 divided by x minus 3. The first is I need to write a number, a quotient, that when they multiply x, it gives you 5s cubed. So that means in here, it have to be 5x squared so 5s cubed and then minus 15x squared. Okay, so 5s cubed minus 5s cubed is 0. Negative 2s squared plus 15x squared gives you 13x squared. And then plus 1. You write down to 1. Okay, so next is 13s squared and x. So that means I need to add 13x. Okay, after I add 13x, I have 13x times x, which is 13x squared. And then 13x times negative 3, I have negative 39x. Okay, now let's do this one. This one you need to be careful about how do you merge the like terms. So remember this subtraction, 13x squared, subtract 13x squared, 0. So nothing really subtracting the negative 39x. So that means we just write it down and then we give you 39x positive because if you subtract a negative number, you will get a positive number. And then we just write down the 1 again. All right. So now that means I have 13x left. So that means here is at 39, 39. 39x at 39 times negative 3 is negative 117. All right, when I subtract these, I will get positive 118. Okay, so this one, the degree of the device, divisor is equal to one, right? Because the highest polynomial, the highest um, exponent is one. And the degree of the reminder is zero that means we can stop as long as the degree of the reminder is less than the degree of the 
divisor, then we can stop and say, hey, this is our reminder. Okay, so now I'm going to use a synthetic method to calculate that. Again, so you write down the coefficient first. So I have 5, negative 2, and 1. So this is incorrect, because when you write it, you need to write it from the highest degree to the lowest degree, and you can't miss 1. So I have s cubed, s2, x to the 1, and x to the 0. So that means when it comes to s3, I have the coefficient 5, the x squared, I have a coefficient of negative 2, but I don't have the x1. What can I do? Well, you can use a 0, because everything multiplied 0 gives you 0. And then s to the 0 means the constant term, which is 1, divided by x minus 3, so that means here should be 3. Again, you write down the 5. First step is 3 times 5 gives you 15. And then negative 2 at 15, I have 13. And then 3 times 13 is 39. And then you add these, I will have 39. And then 3 times 39, I write it here, which is 117. And you add these two together, it gives you 118. So this would be a reminder. Alright, so when you write this again, it's starting from s cubed, x squared, x1 to x0. So that means in here, your degree job 1 is x squared, x, and then constant term. So I can write equation as x squared, s cubed, plus negative 2, x squared, plus 1 equals to x minus 3 times 5x squared plus 13x plus 39 and the remainder. We can say the remainder is 118 over, we need to write down the divisor, which is x minus 3. We can write in this way. I'm not long enough. Okay, here is the last example. I'm going to show it here. So, the polynomial p of x equals to 4x fourth minus 4x to the cube of power minus 11x squared plus 12x minus 3 has a horizontal intercept at x equals to 1 half with multiplicity multiplicity 2 and uh, I want you to find the other intercept okay so how do we do that so I know that if it has a horizontal intercept. That means I can write 4x to the 4th minus s third in minus 11x squared plus 12x minus 3. I can write equivalent to x minus 1 half times a polynomial that we don't know. We're trying to find out. And it tells you that hey, with the multiplicity of 2. That means what? So that means at this factor, the exponent is going to be 2. Okay. So that means I am going to divide this number twice. Okay. Because x squared means you have a 2 x minus x minus 1 half and x minus 1 half. Or I can write it in this way. Since it's square, so that means I have a 2 1 half and then another factor that we're trying to find out. Okay. So now let's use synthetic division, I have 4, negative 4, negative 11, 12, and 3, divided by 1 half. Okay, drop down to 4. 1 half times 4 is 2. Negative 4 at 2 is negative 2. 1 half times negative 2 gives you negative 1. And then this gives you negative, negative 12. I'm sorry, this is at 
and then one half times negative twelve is um, negative six, and then this gives you a six, and then one half times that it gives you. Oh, this is negative three. This is gives you a three, and then negative three plus three gives you zero. Okay, this is not done. That means this means we just divided x minus one half once. We still need to do it again with the quotient. This is the quotient. So I have a four, negative two, negative twelve, and a six divided by one half. Okay, so I will have write down the four. One half times four is two, and then when I add this, negative two times two is zero. One half times zero gives you zero. This gives you negative twelve. One half times negative twelve half gives you negative six. SM gives you zero. So that means after this, we find our factor in here, which is. Now we're starting with x to the fourth, the highest degree. After you divide it by one factor, you will get to x to the third, and then we use x to the third to divide another factor. So here drops another degree. So we're starting with x squared, x to the one, and the constant term. So the other factor should be four x squared minus twelve. Okay, we need to find the other intercept. So after we find that, we know that one of the intercepts is one half, and then the other intercept would be x squared minus twelve equals to zero. When you simplify, I have x squared equals to three, and then x is equal to positive or negative three. <laughs> All right. So if I would write the function, I can write the function as four x. To the fourth minus four x cube minus eleven x square plus twelve x minus three is equal to x minus one half with two multiplicity, and then another root is negative to the square root of third. I can write it in bits. Okay, so that's it for the long division and this infected division. Let me know if you have other questions.